ലോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ലണ്ടൻ ലോകത്തിൽ ആദ്യമായ ഒരു ലൈവ് സിനിമ ജാനുവരി നയൻറ്റീൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് സെവൻറ്റീനിൽ പുറത്തിറങ്ങി ഒരു കോമഡി ചലച്ചിത്രം എഴുതിയതും സംവിധാനം ചെയ്തതും വുഡി ഹാൾസൺ നൂറ് മിനിറ്റ് ദൈർഘ്യമുള്ള ഈ ചിത്രത്തിന്റെ വിശേഷങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് അടുത്തറിയാം This January I am doing something that has never been done. I am shooting an entire film in under 2 hours and live streaming it directly into cinemas. A few years back in London, I had a most unhappy experience and I decided that I would write a comedy about it. Every friend I have told me this is a terrible idea, it's going to be a failure, which is how I knew I was on to something. So Lost in London is based on some real life events that happened in 2002, one of which involved a police chase. I don't want to give too much away. So can I make a call? Yeah. You got your time, Eddie. It's the first time there's ever been a movie that is shot live in real time and live stream into cinemas. So this is pretty exciting. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Normally when you shoot a film, it's multi-camera, split up into scenes, they're split up into a schedule. You can go in, you can pre-light things. That is a luxury. On this, we have one camera and two square miles of London rigged with antennae to pick up the signal from the camera. There are many things that could go wrong. How are you feeling, Yeah, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. I think the biggest challenge was finding a camera operator who would be able to shoot this in one, and I, I only ever had John in mind for it. I've done 10 minute steady cam shots, but never anything of this length. So, um, no, it's a challenge. It's very much a challenge. Making that U turn, coming back, making that left, making that right. And we don't know when we end up in that spot. Hey, thank you all for being here. Really appreciate you coming and being a part of this uh, weird adventure that we're on. This is a very ambitious project, and you all part of it. If on the day someone bumps that camera fly, you've only got one camera, you cannot go back. <laughs> It's art, it's happening, it's real. Come with us. Wear your seatbelt. Done. Thank you. As a child of the 60s, I've always loved being a part of these happenings. Gather your friends and come be a part of this happening with me January 2017, Lost in London. ATM and Norkumbo. ക്യാഷിന് വേണ്ടി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നോട്ടിന് വേണ്ടി ക്യൂ നിൽക്കുന്നൊരു ചിത്രമാണ് കഴിഞ്ഞ കുറേ കാലമായി നമുക്ക് മുന്നിലുള്ളത് എന്നാൽ ലോകത്താദ്യമായ ഒരു യുദ്ധക്കപ്പലിൽ എ ടി എം സൗകര്യം ഒരുക്കി എന്ന സവിശേഷത കൂടി അലങ്കരിക്കുകയാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഭാരതം ഐ എൻ എസ് വിക്രമാദിത്യയുടെ എ ടി എം വിശേഷങ്ങളിലേക്ക് Indian Navy's only operational aircraft carrier, INS Vikramaditya will soon to have an ATM on board. Country's largest public. Sector Bank State Bank of India to launch ATM facility on board this warship on Saturday. INS Vikramaditya will be the first ever warship to have such facility. ATM would be operating through satellite link. According to Captain D.K. Sharma, spokesperson of the Indian Navy, INS Vikramaditya is based in Karwar, Karnataka, where town is quite far from the jetty. Topography of the area is so that the sailors' colony, jetty and town are on three different taxes. Every time Navy personnel deployed on board, Vikramaditya had to travel at least 4-5 km for accessing ATM facilities in the small satellite town of Karwar. Therefore the need was felt that an ATM should be opened on board warship to save time and resources. Indian Navy approached India's largest bank SBI to provide ATM facility on board country's biggest ship and they agreed. 
The ATM would be operating through a satellite communication link and facility would be inaugurated. On Saturday in Karwar.Russia built INS Vikramaditya was commissioned in Indian Navy in November 2013. With over 1,600 personnel on board, INS Vikramaditya is literally a floating city apostrophe. Associated with this large population is a mammoth logistics requirement and cash is one of such which need to be catered, adds Captain Sharma. India's biggest warship has an overall length of about 284 meters and a maximum beam of about 60 meters, stretching as much as three football fields put together. Standing about 20 stories tall from Kyo to the highest point, the sheer side of this 44,500 tons megastructure of steel is awe-inspiring. The ship has a total of 22 decks.